What does Jungian psychology have to do with religion? <clears throat> everything. Every, everything. Uh, you see, Jung has demonstrated that uh, the religious function resides in the psyche and is a integral part of uh, of human psychology. <clears throat> and that just means that the that the ego, in order to be healthy, needs to have a living connection to uh, a transpersonal center. That's uh, there are two etymologies uh, for the word religion. Um, one etymology emphasizes that it means linking back. The idea then would be that the, that the religious uh, function links the ego back uh, to, its, to its origin, to its background, to the, to the larger entity that it came from. <coughs> the, the other etymology of religion that uh, Jung really preferred, actually, was that the that the word the word re, religio means the opposite of the root of the word neglect, uh, so that religio means the careful consideration of the background of one's life. Uh, the opposite of neglecting the background of, one, of one's life. And Jung actually preferred that association, although he, he acknowledged the importance of the, of the other one, which I think uh, uh, goes back to Augustine. <clears throat> but the point is that uh, the human psyche has a religious function in both senses, a, a need to link back and a need to give careful careful consideration to uh, the 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 source of, of his being and the religious process then is is one in which the ego has a living organic connection to a larger whole and that of course is the function that the traditional religions have always served uh, they've they've done it by by the the collective structure and the the dogmatic formulations and the, their the whole concept of, of God and man's relation to God that they provide the believer they've they've uh, given uh, given the individual a, a religious container in in which he has the sense of uh, being connected to the larger whole now Modern man, uh, especially those, the, the creative minority of modern man, has lost that, uh, that connection uh, provided by the traditional religions because uh, they're too concrete. They, they, haven't, they haven't kept pace with, the, with the modern man's mental, mental development, so they're not, they're not in tune with modern categories of understanding. Uh, so the, the great service that Jung has performed has, by, by his discovery of the, of the collective unconscious and the, and the archetypes and the, and the self, he's, he's penetrated to the psychological source and basis that underlies all the world religions. And uh, thereby he's verified and redeemed for modern consciousness the validity and reality of uh, the re religious operations as, as they express themselves in all religions. Uh, that's been achieved, and uh, I don't think we can uh, appreciate 
the, the magnitude of that achievement because uh, what it means is that the, the psychological basis has been laid for the realization of a unified world. Uh, we, we've got the basis now for a unification of, of all the uh, factional divisions uh, among the world religions. Uh, and uh, uh, when, once that achieved, is achieved, uh, I think uh, political unification uh, is bound to follow. It's been accomplished. One man has done it. I wish I could communicate uh, the fact that I, that I see so, so clearly uh, concerning Jung's discovery uh, of, the, of the basis of all the world's religions. He's achieved uh, by this discovery the, the psychological basis for the unification of the world. Uh, it, it's really a, a pitiful sight to, to see the, uh, the world split up into these uh, separate warring fragments uh, of uh, religious identifications, of nationalistic identifications, of ethnic identifications, all, all at war with one another. They're, they're all operating out of the energies of connection with the same, with the same transpersonal uh, image of wholeness. They are all operating out of their connection to, to deity, to the self, as it is uh, constellated and perceived within their, their, their local context, religious or nationalistic context. It's the same, it's the same psychic self. Uh, and what Jung has done has, has penetrated to, to that source. Uh, uh, that's the paradoxical God that he talks, that he talked about. He's seen it. And once he's seen it, it, it can then no longer sp split up into these, these various uh, ethnic and, and religious factions and fight against itself. Uh, one human being has uh, seen the, the back of God, so to speak. So that means then that uh, he's going to be eventually unified and uh, the, uh, the world will be unified politically sooner or later uh, as, a, as an inev inevitable consequence of, of that, uh, that event of human consciousness.